my name is Madison, and you may have seen me around Herndon's BCL Clubhouse. Welcome to base camp! Last week my friend Daisy told us all about a series of videos she found made by someone named Farmer Dell. She was looking for some tips on growing plants, but she found something even better. Heart habits! Now, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of habits. Like, oh, like having a dance party every single day and covering pretty much everything I eat with rainbow sprinkles. But I didn't really think about how hearts have habits too. I mean, it has a habit of beating and, and my mom even has a watch that keeps track of everything that our heart does all day long. Oh, wait, hang on, I'm getting a message. Oh, it's from Daisy. She says, that's not what that means. How does she know? Okay, um, so anyway, this week Farmer Dell is talking all about how to grow closer to God and others through God's word. Ah, the Bible! But sometimes ugh, I have a hard time reading the Bible. It's just, it's so big! I mean, it has like, like a bajillion pages. Okay, this Bible is even bigger than a lot of my books for school. And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of times, my teachers don't even get through the whole textbook by the end of the year. I mean, what happens after ch chapter nine in earth science? I'll never know. <sighs> I mean, I see a lot of other people reading the Bible regularly, but I don't know what their secret is. I get behind or I get to a part I don't understand or Mrs. O walks in with a plate of cookies and I get distracted or I just give up. I mean, I know reading the Bible is super important to understanding God and getting to know him and knowing how we should live our lives, but I don't know. I'm just really hoping that Farmer Dell has some helpful tips on how we can make reading the Bible a habit. And oh, hey, hey, maybe we can go through the tips together. <gasps> that would be so much fun. Okay, are you ready to hear what Farmer Dell has to say? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Bye, everyone. Which one is the last straw? Oh. Hey there, Farmer in the Dale here. Just uh, getting my hay in order. Last week, we introduced our new big idea, heart habits, ways to grow closer to God and others. Heart habits are things that we can do over and over again, so they become rhythm of our lives. Rhythm of our lives, the rhythm of our lives. Today, I'm here to share our very first heart habit. Ah! I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you excited? Because <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> oh, and now let's dig in to reading God's Word. God's Word is called the Bible. 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 Everything in it is true. 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 And true. Even though the Bible is a big book split into smaller little books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel. It's really just one big story about God's amazing love. There's this one book in the Bible, which is God's word called Psalms. The book of Psalms just means songs. Sing a song about the Bible. Sing that, sing that song. I love to sing a song about the Bible. But there's a lot of songs about God's Word. Whoa. It's like this book in the Bible about the Bible. King David spent so much of his time just writing about God's Word. In Psalm 19, it says that God's Word is perfect and it gives us strength. And God's Word can be trusted and it makes us wise. And God's Word is true and it gives us joy. God's Word is pure, and it, it gives us light. God's Word is so amazing, we should really be reading it every day. What, what, what do you mean? I, I do read it every day. I mean, not every day, every day. Like, no. Okay. But you know, I mean, like farming is really difficult, and it takes up a lot of time. I'm, I'm so busy. What are some things that make it hard for you to read God's Word? Come on, shout it out. TV. Video games. Friends. Even when we really want to do things, it's hard to stick with them over time. Wait a minute! Oh! oh. There it is! Ah! Oh. 
this book helped me learn how to take care of my plants. I think there's some things in here that I learned that can help us build heart habits of reading God's word every single day. Number one, start small, maybe with just one or two plants. Maybe you just read one story a day or even just a couple verses. You could read out of John or I don't know, maybe your church has a reading plan in Psalms. Number two, keep your tools handy, like a watering can. Oh, oh, or maybe in this case, your Bible and a notebook. Number three, make sure to give your plant good, rich soil so that it can grow deep roots. One way we can grow deeper with God's Word is by asking questions as we read, like, what does this say about God? What does this teach me about how to live? Number four, watch out for bugs. What? It totally fits here. Number five, pick a time of day and set a reminder. Reminder, water the plants and read God's word. Thanks, Siri. Number six, find a buddy. Hey, Farmer Zach. Yeah, just calling to check in. How's the farm? Now, how's the psalm reading plan going? Number seven. Now, this is the last one. Really get to know your plants and what they need. My pretty little cactus, and I will pet him, and I will love him, and I will call him George. You need a drink of water, but not a lot. I know you don't like too much water. We can really get to know God's Word by memorizing it. King David in the Psalms, he says that's putting God's word in your heart. And when you memorize God's word, you can take it with you anywhere you go. So there you have it. Seven super helpful tips for you to build a habit of reading God's word. So what now? Right. Every good farmer knows you've got to have a plan. Otherwise, you end up planting pumpkins in your pickle patch. So let's take a second right now and come up with a plan, okay? Let's do it. Do you have any habits right now of reading God's Word? What's one habit you would like to add? And what's your plan? Alrighty, are you guys excited? Yeah! Because I'm excited. And, and I cannot wait to hear how your plan goes this week. And remember, building a new habit takes time. It's okay if you mess up. The important thing is not to give up. You wouldn't stop eating lunch just because you forgot your lunch one day, would you? Oh. Well, no lunch for me ever, ever again. No, of course not. Make sure you ask God to help you stick with it. And then we'll have ourselves a heart habit in no time. So that's it for me. This is Farmer in the Dell saying, yee And we'll see you next week.